shot clock in operation here. So, uh, Tommy, with a minute to go, what would you do? Would you want to shoot quickly here or run a few seconds down? Uh, you got to come up with a good shot. So whatever it takes to get a good shot. you got plenty of time to get off a couple of more opportunities. It's not a matter of... Really, you've got to come up with two points and re-put the pressure back on Chicago. Yeah, I want to thank you for uh, telling me that these glasses work. You like them? <laughs> the eyes go first, I find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait till I get mine on. We can be the Bucky twins here. There Tommy, you go. Tommy, you know Mark Price, who's had a whale of a game, hits three three-pointers, and he'll direct the floor, bringing it down now, and try to set the table for work. Well, with three guys, big guys, that may mean that Sam Vincent cannot go out there and shadow Mark Price. He may, they may really be planning on doubling yeah. down on the Cleveland big guys. So Price may be a factor in this next play or the next couple of plays. What do you figure about Harper? Uh, just didn't have the shooting touch. You know, he and Jordan got into a bit of the war of the words in the newspaper. And uh, Jordan said that Elo was a better defensive player than Harper. And Harper said, is that so? He never got 50 off me. But uh, here this afternoon, Jordan scored 53. Yeah, but look at where... The Cavs are still in this ball game. I keep saying, as amazing a feat as Michael Jordan provides, the other guys in his, his ball club have to succeed, too. Cleveland has diversified their offense. They right now might have an advantage, believe it or not, because they have multiple options to go to. It might confuse the Bulls players. We'll either end it in a minute or head to a five-minute overtime. And next week, don't forget, we've got more NBA action Saturday and Sunday. 3.30 Eastern time on CBS. Then the doubleheader on Sunday at 1 Eastern. Williams will take the ball out of bounds. Price off the dribble. Short on the shot. Rebound by Jordan and Chicago. Well, they did not go inside. They elected to go to pick and roll route to try and get Price into the defense. But great defense by Chicago, particularly Jordan with the rebound. Jordan, no foul. Williams with the rebound in 32 seconds. Into Harper's hands now. They trail it by one. Harper to the glass. Not The shot clock and the game clock are synced up. Vincent over to Jordan. And this time, they'll put him on the line. Now, the last play by Cleveland was not a bad play. Harper had a, like an 18-foot shot with the backboard to work over Corzine, who wasn't going to come out and get him. Unfortunately, the shot was low off the glass for Cleveland. Michael has been perfect at the free throw line. Greg Elo checks back in. He's already established one mark. He's the first player in NBA history to have back to back 50 point playoff games. Let's see, what did I say earlier? $4 million in endorsements. We're going to open it. There'll be a couple more companies coming after him tonight. Some company named 50-50, right? <laughs> he, he also may become the first NBA player ever to endorse Rolls Royce. <laughs> well, he certainly gives you a Rolls Royce game. Nothing but class. This is a big free throw. This will alter it for Cleveland. That's a three-point lead in 14 seconds to go. compliments to number 23. Do you remember when the Dallas Cowboys became known as America's team? Well, Amer number 23, you know, behind the Celtics and the Lakers, bull jerseys are the hottest selling commodity around the NBA, and that's not just in the city of Chicago. There was a time here, Tommy, when Marshall Field carried basically Bear and Cub and White Sox paraphernalia. Now, they've cleared out half the shelves for number 23 jerseys. You know, all this spectacular play and all the other things about him, but you know what I like most about Michael Jordan? 
He is a fantastic competitor. In your face, he wants it all the time. Now the Cavs looking for the tie with time running down. They go inside to Doherty. Couldn't hit it. He gets it back. No foul on the inside. And now, oh, I'll tell you. Down hard that time was Grant. Quickly reaching to his back. There was immediate pain etched across his face when he slammed hard against the floor. So the joy of victory here is dampened somewhat by this injury to Grant, who remains down. Coach Collins now going out along with the Chicago trainer. So while he receives a little treatment here, we'll we'll take a break and be right back. Well, Horace Grant up and moving over to the Chicago bench. We welcome those of you who watched the series out west go to one for Seattle and one for Denver. 111.91. We want to show you moments ago, Grant down on the inside. Watch away now. Number 54. Here he is. He'll fall hard to the floor and immediately reach toward his back. And he was down for a good minute and a half. But he will come out and shoot his free throws. The Bulls are going to win this game, apparently. Three seconds to go. 104 to 101. Well, he's got to hit one free throw out of this. And if he's shaken off the remnants of... Uh... An injury that probably knocked the wind out of him in addition to hurting his back. That should do it. That'll send the Bulls up by two back into Cleveland on Tuesday night. The young Cavaliers with an opportunity in the late going in this game. And Ron Harper missed a big field goal. Now you looked at that bench and they are very crestfallen. Playoff competition for a young team needs. You got to go back home and hold serve. Wing on your home court. So Horace Grant, injured back and all, seals the victory. Now he'll go sit down on that Chicago bench. We'll be right back. Well, there is absolutely no question about our Miller Lite player of this game. And Miller is proud to present a check for $1,000 to the Multiple Sclerosis Society on behalf of Michael Jordan, who scored 55 points, pulled down six rebounds, dished out three assists, and also had time for four steals in this game. Tommy Hudson, what a great, great player he is and will be for a long time. He sure will be, and... Uh... And just keep looking at him and keep marveling at all the things this player can do on a basketball court. Rory Sparrow out there to clean it up. And Sanders misses at the buzzer. And the Bulls go up by two victories over the Cleveland Cavaliers. They win this one by five, 106, 101. What do you think of Doug Collins overall as a coach, Tommy? I, I think he's done such an outstanding job teaching a team how to use their speed and not get demoralized and also working with a superstar. That's not always easy to get a team to do, work with a superstar. Let's take a look at those brackets right now if we can. The winner of this series would take on the winner of the Detroit-Washington series. So right now, anyway, it appears to be Detroit and Chicago. Boston two up, and Atlanta still to play its second game against Milwaukee. Meanwhile, out west, well, the Los Angeles Lakers lead San Antonio by a game. But their next opponent, still to be determined for sure, Utah and Portland are even. And in the other bracket, everybody is all even, too. So for Tommy Heinsohn and Pat O'Brien, I'm Brent Mus Burger saying so long for the Chicago Stadium. The Bulls and Michael Jordan won it 106 101. The NBA on CBS is a presentation CBS of CBS. Coverage of the 1988 NBA playoffs has been sponsored by Fran, Bendix, and Auto Life, which are all quality products of Allied Automotive. The American Express Card. Membership has its privileges. And by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? I like it.